I've worked so hard my whole, you know, adult life as an artist to change the way people see film and video in a museum. I work with rooms of color all the time, and I work with tinting space all the time. It reminds you how important light is to art. And it also makes you conscious of space. When, once you change the color of light in a space, it makes people conscious of the space uh, that they are moving within. If I'm going to work with a specific animal, I have to know how they interact with their environment, the way they live, the way they function in the world, the way they speak, the way they deal with their environment informs the way I install the work. It takes me as long to install it as it does for me to shoot it because I don't quite know, I have an idea of the shape, but then when you go into real architecture, I have to manage and negotiate the shape. Real installation involves making art in the space when you're there. So the viewer, someone who comes into the work, lives in their world. The animals live in their world, and I attempt to install it in such a way that the installation complicates the viewer's environment. It has to do with bringing animal space into human space, but not denying the animal their complexity, their spatialness, the way they live in space, but complicating it for the human being. The animal is not someone to be looked at, it's a subject with which you engage, whether it's through the environment in which I put you or the contemplation of their environment. And it's about knowing through observation Maybe it was Derrida who said, you know, there's two ways of looking at the world. And one, one is through vivisection. You kill something and you cut it up, which is what science does. And the other one is through building a model of it. You don't kill it. You look at it very, very closely. So it's about thinking through observation, thinking through looking, which is what we do when we engage with art, it's thinking through looking. Because of the goals I have with my work, in terms of its relationship to like art history. You know, an art that's being made and the way art is shown and the conditions in which art is placed in the world. I've always had to innovate, like come up with ideas and make them work, right? And so it's not innovation for the sake of innovation, it's innovation for the sake of making the work actually be able to hold the place that I want it to hold in the world. My work as an artist is about rethinking the environment rethinking how other beings live in the world. And we hope, as artists, all artists hope that when they put something into the world that it changes the way you see the world. So my work functions in that way as an artwork. I hope and I wish and I want my work to change the way people see the world.